Alright, welcome back. Uh, this is tutorial 2, Physics Proxies. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this and explain to you why you have to do it the way you do it. Um, the add-on is set up to where it will only, the parenting levels only go three deep. Uh, meaning you can have a parent, child, and a, the child is a parent of another child. So you've got three levels there. Now you can have a parent that is the uh, that has 50 children as long as they're on the same level. And uh, that goes for the second level. The second level can have 50 children. Uh, so doing loads and things like that shouldn't be an issue. Um, which actually your level of details you should just be able to add those to the CryBlend export group or the CryEngine export uh, group name and uh, they should be automatically included. Right, anyway, let's get on to the physics proxy here. Uh, got our model, it's UV mapped, textured, uh, whatever, you know, we'll go ahead and uh, add a mesh for our, oh, hold on. for our physics proxy and of course I've already got one set up uh, what you gotta pay attention to you can scale it in uh, object mode but when you do that you need to apply your scale location rotation whatever you do in object mode all right once you've done that what we'll do is we will uh, we're going to have to join these two models together, our render mesh and our physics proxy here. Now the material for our physics proxy needs to be named the same as uh, what we've got for our render mesh with the first part here. Alright, so if we're going to be exporting uh, several things as one model, the first part of the, the material name needs to be the same. All right. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to give this a 2 because this is actually the second one that uh, I've exported because I wanted to make, make sure it worked before doing the video. Alright, now our physics proxy and our render mesh, we're going to go ahead and join the two together. Uh, we'll grab the child, which is the one that's going to go under the cube uh, of course we want the cube to be the one that the the name to it lasts and then we'll go to object and then join and of course we got our cube now if for whatever reason you need to pull these back apart you just go into edit mode select one vertice of your uh, physics proxy hit control L and it will select all the length vertices, meaning length through edges, and then you can just separate it as normal. All right, now we've got that done. Uh, we just go to the, uh, as you can see, our materials are set up here. Uh, we've got slot one, slot two. They should be named the same here. All right, we'll go the uh, group for the cry export node. Uh, if you're doing tests and you, uh, you're exporting the same mesh over and over again uh, but you want to keep different versions of it uh, all you gotta do is just go ahead and add you can add or change the name right here and it doesn't keep an old unused group because those are I have no idea how to get rid of those but uh, just changing the name there that's the only group that ends up being there alright we'll go to export to game run the resource compiler and do materials and as we can see here no problems come on over here to our level now one of the things we've got to do go to our materials or uh, actually where we saved our deal reload that and uh, we should well that's funny Hold on a second here. Did 
Did I do the materials? I probably didn't. Explore to game, run arts of mercy, and do materials. Well, there we go. That's what the problem was. Now, for some reason, that figures. messes up whenever you're trying to uh, <sighs> try this again. Our materials are set up properly. just odd. There we go. Now it's working. Huh. Go figure. Alright. Anyway. Go ahead and get our shader type to uh, no draw for the physics proxy. We'll assign our uh, rock to that. Alright. And we'll go ahead and save it. And uh, if for whatever reason you may have to uh, go ahead and make sure everything is proper uh, it's this is a funny beast well we've got our material saved there basic export two like we named it get you set up there <coughs> drag you up now I found that uh, you may have to uh, rotate it just a little bit just move it a little bit in the game because Sometimes, yep, there we go, it's doing that again. But uh, what I found is that when you rotate it, oh, you are an evil, evil thing, you. Assign the rock to the uh, material. This shouldn't have to, but we'll do it anyway. Yep, I guess so. Anyway, as you can see, our physics proxy is working. And uh, that's that. Uh, the occlusion proxy should work the same for uh, vegetation. Um, same deal. Uh, that you should be able to just parent. But when you do your physics proxies, uh, I would go ahead and join it like it says to do for the XSI. Anyway, sorry for stumbling. Uh, next tutorial will be on... might touch on occlusion proxies. Let's see here. Du, 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 du. Sorry. Yep. We might do that. Yeah, the occlusion proxies are for uh, the AI. 
We may touch on that. We may come back to it though, because we have other things that we need to mess with. Uh, automatic geometry instancing. I uh, haven't. That does not work. So. Uh, and then pickable objects. So I think we'll go to pickable objects next. Go ahead and get that taken care of and out of the way. Anyway, have fun. Um, or hopefully you will have fun. And uh, wait till the next tutorial. Thank you.